Tomorrow, Splatoon 3 Story Mode. So, yeah, I'm just gonna start the game now. On the last episode, we did most of the uh, Forest Hill something. Forest Echo Forest Tree Hills. And on this episode, we're gonna do the rest of it. And it's gonna be really easy because I already found all these things. It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode because, I mean, I'm only doing a bunch of levels pretty much. There isn't that much to explore other than, like, you know, finding some eggs. So, yeah. Let's just get right to it. One way through, one way ride through Target. Oh my god, more Targets? Woomy! Well, at least she says woomy. I guess that is a thing. Lightning's a bit funky. Oh, try stringer? Rapid blaster. Eh, I mean, I guess this is good for targets. It's a freaking bow and arrow. Why wouldn't it work? Okay, so another one of these levels, huh? Oh, cool. Alright, high stakes target practice. Hit every target you see. Well, nothing I haven't done before, I guess. Kind of cool. I like the aesthetic of this level. It actually looks really nice. The sunset's really pretty. Ah, crap. I missed one. Just, just die. Agent 3? No! Honestly, it's kind of hard to notice where the targets are sometimes, because, like, the yellow blends in with the background. At least for me. I'm a little mesmerized by how the stage looks, so I keep getting out of focus. I'm like, wow, it's so pretty. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm shooting targets. Oh god. That was scary. Oh, jeez. Well, hopefully I don't run out of ink. Okay, so shoot the eggs, you get ink. Er, not ink, what am I saying? Okay, I should have seen that coming. Damn it! Okay, whatever. I say this will be a short stream, and then I do the, one of these levels again, so... Eh, it'll probably take me like 10 minutes, at best, if I keep failing. That's okay, I got this. Once you learn it, it doesn't take that long to recover. Yeah, no, I wanted to get the eggs. No. Also, new Pokemon gym leader is a freaking VTuber, so that's kind of funny. I mean, I know it's just a streamer, but the design is literally, literally a VTuber. Wait, what the? This game sucks. There's no checkpoints at all in this freaking level. Was I supposed to hit all those? I hate you. Okay, whatever. Do I even need the charge? I could just keep spamming. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna... Hold up, let me just get CF. Okay. This level kind of sucks. I'm just gonna say that. Well, at least I don't have to f focus on freaking hitting the target multiple times in a straight like that first target level. That's still the worst one, honestly. Here, it's more so your aim than having to destroy the target perfectly.
super nice. Okay, what did I do wrong here? Aim carefully, you say. How? No! No! Okay, I hate this. You know what? Screw everything. I'm just gonna spam. Who needs a charge? Oh, wait. You need to charge to get long range shots. Never mind, I do need the charge. I can't just spam it. Even though charging I mean charging takes a little longer, but it's worth it. Am I even supposed to break those targets? It didn't seem like there's any penalty for missing them. At least the ones that they that were in that one part specifically. I don't know. Like, I can't... It's just not blowing up for some reason. Even though I'm hitting the power egg. Oh, well. That part I missed, but... Still, I was clearly hitting that power... Hit that yoinky splunky. I was clearly hitting it. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. God. Okay, thank God. Oh, crap! Uh... Okay. I wasn't paying attention. I missed... I missed the last one. And I was doing perfectly, too. Okay, you know... You know, I, I start, and I immediately get a level that makes me hate everyone. Cool. Very cool game. Hmm... Okay. I I will destroy the Splatoon people. That's all I'm gonna say. Maybe Tri Stringer wasn't the best choice. I don't know. Maybe I should try with the Splatling. At least I can rapid fire with that thing. If I miss with this thing, I'm just screwed. They want me to have a sharp aim here. Okay. Better aim with utmost godly precision. Otherwise, I am kind of screwed. Damn it! Okay. You know what? No. I don't want to use the tri stringer. Thank you. It's been like eight minutes. I'm tired of this crap. Okay. Whatever. We are just gonna go, and we're gonna try with a different weapon. You know what? Rapid Blaster. That seems like a good middle ground, I was gonna say. Um, I forgot I have to hit that. You know what? Maybe that was a good choice. got somewhat rapid fire and it's got a good punch okay the range kind of sucks off however it has okay the rapid not really rapid fire because it takes like a second to like re punch in but whatever let's see how it does against this bar yeah, I, I can do that. I mean, it's got a punch to it. I like that. Maybe the Tri-Stringer with this a sucky weapon that they want. I mean, I mean, okay, not a bad weapon, just not the one I would shoot. Yeah, like, see that? That was... That was a joke with this thing. Okay, better pay attention. Bro! That was so easy. With this thing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. There's no checkpoints either. No room for error. Almost done. Oh god. There's more. No checkpoints. Ah! 
Really? Really? They really keep you on your toes with those stupid fences, let me tell you. Oof. Oh, I didn't even see those. Okay. I don't like this, but I'm gonna keep it up. This weapon really makes it easier. Even though I hate this level with every fiber of my being. I will pursue it and do it. Or something, I don't know. Boom. I just don't like aiming precisely, and then also having to remember at the freaking dock in a fraction of a second to get under a fence. Like, that's ridiculous. Okay, I'm glad I have this thing instead of the freaking tri -stringer. Ah! Okay, this, this part. Ah! Oof, I'm scared. I am afraid. I am deathly afraid right now. Boom, 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 boom. Duck. And then remember to duck again very soon. I just wanted to make sure I got all the targets. And then it was like, no, you're just freaking dead. Because of a fence. No! This level is balls. Are you kidding me? Wait, what if I threw the power bomb? I'm gonna try the splat bomb. Does that work for targets? Uh, debatably? Don't know if I'd recommend it, but it might be good for those big strings of targets. Yeah, I'm gonna say that doesn't work. Uh This is such a bad level. Why did it have to start with this? Jesus. Okay. These real target levels are my worst nightmare in this game, man. I'm just glad you don't have to beat all the levels to just get through the game. I mean, I'm trying to beat all the levels anyway, but at least for a regular player, they don't have to beat this. So do it if you dare, I guess. The moral of the story. Ah, oh, sorry. Just readjusting myself here. I can do this. At least the the rum the HD rumble feels good in this level. That's the only compliment I'll give it. Keep it up, Agent Three. Almost done. Yeah, no pressure or anything. Final stretch, don't lose focus now. What? Oh god. What? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> no. No. This is so bad. 
I've never hated a Splatoon level more than I do right now. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Some of those Splatoon 1 levels were pretty hard. But I don't remember them. Especially some of those amiibo challenges. But, like, this is, like, pretty difficult, I gotta say. Me when I start a freaking playthrough and I have to play a real level. Okay, you know it's best not to stress the details. Don't really think about how hard it is. Just, just try. I must put every ounce of like goodness energy into it to win. I say as I almost missed the tart. What the frick? Okay, the real... Was it the camera angle? I, I, I jumped. And it just didn't work. No thoughts. Head empty. Only, only, only focus is Splatoon. Level. Boom. Okay, I gotta be, I gotta, I gotta win. Oh god. Okay. Do you At the very least, at least you make a lot of power eggs as you progress the level. Cool. Wait, did I make that or no? Well, doesn't matter now, I'm still dead. Oh my god, why? Why does it have to be this level? Okay, if I die again, I'm just gonna try the Splatling. Not that this weapon isn't working for me, but that last part, I didn't, I didn't even understand. They wanted me to, like, shoot the top and then the bottom? I don't even know. Like, I just floundered, and it was the very final target. I had it, and then I died within the ounce of my life. Oh, thank god, that was perfect. Okay. 
I'm gonna freaking kill you. Okay. Wait! I... Hmm. Really? That freaking... That rail wasn't long enough. I, I paused the game so I could just readjust myself for a second. Yeah, this is the first level I'm doing for the stream. <laughs> Pain. No checkpoints. Really precise targets. It's not pretty. Also, there's Among Us in the background, so that's a thing. Oh, yeah. I was I was using that at the beginning. And then I was like, you know what? No. This doesn't work. You have to have the aim of a god to use that thing on this level. Again, they recommend the worst love the worst possible weapon that they could for this mission. With this weapon, it's at least somewhat tolerable. Like, I feel like I can hit most of the targets easy enough. A rail switch? Um Yeah, that's the part where I died probably. Because I was pausing to, like, readjust myself to make sure I did it r everything right, but no. That's, that's how I faltered. I was thinking of the splatling, but then I was like, nah, you know, this one might be fine. And it works well enough. Uh, except for the part where you die, because you missed one target. Good good job. Just die. Restart the whole level. If I game over again, though, I'm going to try the Splatling. I've been doing nothing but this non-stop for like 15 minutes. Oh, 22 minutes now. It's already passed. Angry. Also, the lightning kind of messes with my perception of the level sometimes. Like, it looks really pretty, but... Sometimes I'm not sure where I should be looking. At least on my first go around, I'm like, where am I aiming? I don't know. The background details are a little distracting, even though they're really pretty. Yeah. I feel like I have to do that at least on... Sometimes that happens. Okay, whatever. Did, which weapon did you beat it with? The blaster or the freaking splatling? There's no point in pressing retry from checkpoint. There is none. Oh, they recommend the stringer because you get the most eggs with it, I bet. Oh, easier with the- Ah! Uh, whatever. It might be easier for the blaster, but I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Wait, does it not blow up the eggs? Oh my god, I am- that I'm freaking out right now. Hold on. Angry mode activate. I'm just making stupid mistakes now. Okay, let me just readjust myself. Boom. I'm sorry, they actually don't do the same thing. It's not then What is wrong with me? Uh, you know, maybe everything was a mistake after all. 
Yeah, with the splatling, you actually have to go out of your way to hit all the freaking uh, boxes. Like, you have to aim at everything. At least with the other weapons, you, like, you just hit one and it hits them all. Aim at the targets, not the X. Yeah. You know, maybe the Splatling's a stupid weapon and I hate everything. I don't know. Okay, good thing that rail switch worked. Oof. This is rough, but, I mean, maybe I can adjust with this thing, I don't know. The end egg is what really threw me off. I don't know how I was supposed to do that. Ah! You know... You know, no, I'm not using this. I must value my sanity, and also, I don't know if I should... do this weapon thing on stream now. I'm starting to have regrets... about that idea. With levels like this, I mean, I could stream it, but it would probably just be, like, you know, I could do this, I guess, on the side kind of thing, as a filler episode. Like, after I finish the story mode. You know, kind of like how I did Coliseum, even though I beat KH1 already. Because I wanted to do the rest of the Coliseum as, like, a bonus. Like, that's, that's the same kind of thing now. The bonus challenges. Splatoon, the lost levels, I could call it. Yeah, using this thing is definitely the easiest one. Well, that's not really a bonus. That's just something I would do normally. I just want to beat the story first. That's just something I want to do. This isn't something I really want to do necessarily, but it's... On my checklist of things to do with Splatoon, so I have to. It's just an obligation. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to. Because something, something, 100%, even though it doesn't even give you anything. Okay, this is the real hard part. If I fail five lives again, I'm just gonna leave this level and then do a different one. Because I don't have time for this. Okay. Time for the part that really makes a difference. Boom, 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 boom. Die target. Oh yeah, it's that rail that killed me, because it was too short. <coughs> what are you supposed to do? Are you, are you supposed to just have the reflexes of a freaking cheetah? What? Did you see that? I freaking did it, the rail here, but I freaking fell under it, because it was, I was too slow. Pain. Pain. Well, that's the closest I've been. I made it to that part one other time, 
but I failed to hit the... I did the bottom targets first, and then the top one. I feel like I'm supposed to hit the top and then the bottom, but I still didn't too slow. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, well, I kind of got the hang of it. Let's keep trying. Top, bottom. Just, just, just freaking die. Aim at the middle target for the bottom one. I don't know what you mean by that, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> this music's making me irrationally angry, too. It's not even, like, one of the good songs. I mean, it's a good song, just not, like, one of my favorites in the story mode. So I hear this, I just associate it with these levels. It's like when you hear a video game song and then you're like, oh no, the devil. Because of what you associate it with. Like when you hear a frickin' Sonic Unleashed Battle theme. It's a good song, just... You're gonna hear it a lot. dun 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 At the end of the blast radius, could hit both other targets if you hit the middle. Um. God, I hate when that happens. I'm freaking trying to aim, and it's like. Okay, you aimed in a really awkward position, now try to jump the rail, and then you just die. Because it's too awkward of a transition to, like, bother. Yikes. They couldn't have designed a worse level. Bruh, it's 542. Why am I playing this stupid level? Well, I think it's because of the way I have the camera angled, if you mean switching rails. Like, if I, the camera's not aimed, like, straight dead on, then it's like, gonna be like, no, you're not gonna switch the rail properly. Fair enough. Oh. Okay. Somehow I made that that one. Okay. Here for the home stretch. This part is not too bad. At least compared to other stuff in the level. This box is kind of a pain, but whatever. Dun 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 dun. What the hell? Really want to punch a target right now. I don't know about you. I'm gonna leave here, and then frickin' just do something else. If this, this final attack doesn't prove anything, which it probably won't, I'm just gonna... I don't know. I mean, I'm not the best aimer, so indirect hits make sense.
If only those rate of fire upgrades affected other weapons. Bruh, that is the worst, too, because they're like, oh, no pressure, You're, you, you got this. Okay. Keep it up, Agent 3. Almost done. Almost done, they say. Make sure to have the camera oriented in the straight before I hit the end of the thing, and now I have to hit this stupid target. Da 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 da. da. Break it. Okay. I did it. That was on complete accident. Honestly, I was just aiming and hoping to God it worked, and it worked. So I don't care. What it is, I beat the level. Let's go. I was ready to just leave. Yes. Thank Christ. That is not something I want to play again. And then I do it anyway, because... Suffering. Suffering is real. And it's this level. Yeah, I kind of just... <laughs> freaking shot and then stuff happened. I don't even, I, I couldn't even process what was happening. I was just like, oh god, I'm, I'm gonna be too late, and then it just worked? What happened? I don't even know. It was too fast for me to mentally, like, process. Stuff just happened. It was a string of shots. I, I didn't even see what I was doing. It just worked. The winning strategy. Try. Making waves with splashed out. Ooh. Happened to hit the bottom targets. Nice. I think it was while I was falling. Like, I was falling off, and then I, I, didn't, I wasn't even really aiming. I was just shooting straight, and then I guess it worked. Oh, splashed out only? That's kind of cool. And just be like, boom! Boom! Oh yeah, this is a cool level. Also, I love this music. This reminds me of the freaking missions with the amiibo challenges where you, you like, had Kraken for the whole level. And it was so fun. If they brought Kraken back only for the story mode, I wouldn't be disappointed, honestly, because I'd be fine. If, like, at least you got it in the story. Because, like, I mean, it'd be cool. I mean, you could control a Kraken. Yeah, this is a fun level. Just spam splashdowns, have fun. Boom! I've never felt so much power in Splatoon. Other than using the Kraken, anyway. And plus, I'm green, just like the Kraken. Or at least that's the color I associate it with it. Kabam! Honestly, I, I feel like I end up missing their dialogue a lot, because I'm just paying attention to the game. How is it even possible to get hit like this? I say as I'm being targeted. Oh, wait. Yeah, this isn't a move in this freaking... Um... What, what is this move even from? Splat 1? I don't know. Splat 2? Probably not Splat 2. Too lame to be a Splat 2 special. 
Like, Kraken would have made perfect sense. Especially because it was also in Splatoon 1's story challenges. Amiibo only, but still. I mean, they, they dug other elements from the Splatoon Amiibo challenges. Like the um, ink conservation thing. But made it actually playable in this game. Oh, I was gonna say, it seems kind of too lame for a Splatoon special, but I guess... I mean, it exists. Not saying anything bad about Splat 1 specials, but some of them were kind of lame. Like, I don't know. I feel like they tried to make that better for Splat 2. Okay. Boom. Simple but fun and cool level. I like it. Boom! <gasps> Boom! I mean, yeah, it is definitely like the most underwhelming multiplayer special, I would say for sure. In the story mode, I mean, it's cool for killing the enemies. Like, here, it makes sense. When everyone has a freaking, like, mega bazookas and crap, and, like, missile, tenta missiles, and, like, killer whales, and cool stuff like that, and then all you have is this stinky sploosh that makes, like, a little bit of your surrounding radius. That's kind of pretty lame compared to everything else. That's why I was like, oh, maybe this is from Splat 1. Because I don't know. I don't remember all the Splat 1 specials, but some of them are kind of bad, I think. And then they made them more balanced for two. And... Pretty sure I cleared all the goop, so now it's just going level to level. Pretty much. Low vis, high risk. Also, the reef sliders, okay. I just, I don't know, I don't really like it a lot. Dino roller. Actually, I like the 52 gal. 20, huh? Must be an easy level. Oh, fog? This is like a freaking Mario level. This is just their excuse not to model anything in the background. Because draw distance fog. No, I'm just kidding. They don't have to render anything if there's you can't see it. Am I right? I mean, this, I don't know, the killer whale wasn't my favorite in Splatoon 1, but maybe that's just because I couldn't, I didn't know how to use it specifically. I mean, I'm sure I always find though. I don't know, I ended up missing most of the time, I, I feel like. Yo, that's sick. Why, oh, I was gonna say, why didn't it hit? Oh, what the hell? What's that? Oh. Uh, I thought there was like Octolings or something for a second, but no, it's just these guys. They shoot b splat bombs, I guess. Boom. Whee! I'm glad all these levels are simple after that terror I had to witness as the first level of the stream. Sometimes you gotta start out ballsy, I guess. Well, I'm glad that wasn't the last level I played last time. That would've ended the stream off so poorly. I knew when to quit, man. I, I, I didn't even know the la next level was gonna be hard, but I just... I knew when to quit. Oh, cool. I thought it was the Tenta Missiles again, so I was confused. Aim. Okay. Boom. Get those targets. Get those Koopas. <laughs> I love the way freaking it's like it's stopping all the on the Koopas. In the weird Chris Pratt way he was talking.
I feel like that freaking sound effect is ripped str directly from Super Mario Sunshine. It sounds like the sound like when you launch the bullet bills. Like, away. When they're attacking you. That's a cool end of screen. I like this freaking, like, yeah. They got, like, a cool black and white vibe for all of them. Never really commented on it. But, it's neat. Okay, what are we doing next? I've spent hours of my life stopping Koopas. <laughs> You know, I'm starting to notice a trend here. How many freaking target levels, whether it be on rails or not, there's like four different target levels in this one world. Or maybe I'm thinking of the last world too, but like, still, the target levels are getting a bit much, and I don't appreciate them at all. So this better not be one of those levels. Okay, I mean, it's only 30 for the refund, but... Uh, I keep doing that. Oh, wait, I have to hit the wall, I'm stupid. Oh, it's wall switches. Cool. I mean, I guess that's different. Jump. Okay, yeah. I had a feeling. I mean, the cost is only 30 for getting in, so... Oh gosh, that is scary. Bro, they got the freaking Splatoon 1 trees again, and this time they're floating. I feel like those are the exact same trees as Black- Okay, there's a checkpoint. Thank gosh. Those are the exact same trees from Black Spelly Skate Park. By the way, why did they bring back that map? I mean, I guess... I don't know if it was a good map, but I mean... I, I mean, it's like a classic Splat 1 map. Like, why not bring it back? That's like one of the first maps I think of uh, with Splatoon 1. Also, um... Wait, was I supposed to hit that? Oh. Burst bombs, got it. Did they bring back freaking? Oh wait, a balloon. Oh. Did they bring back um the freaking camp site map from Splatoon One? I like that one a lot. It was the one they added in the freaking first summer update, I believe. Wow. So there's no Splatoon One maps at all. What? What? What gives? Also good, no freaking... No, I loved Camp Trickerfish. It, it, I mean, I don't know, I thought it was a fun map and it looked really cool. It just gave me those summer vibes whenever I play Splat 1 a lot. Like, it was just a good map. Oh crap. It was a good map. Wait, what? Oh. I'm going in circles. Well, at least it didn't kill me off. That's weird. Is this like a Mario Kart 6 situation where the freaking maps are being held hostage if they didn't make it in the freaking last game? So they can only do ones they didn't do bring back yet? Because, I mean, I kind of get that from Mario Kart, but all the Splatoon games look kind of similar. There's no excuse to be doing that here. Like, you wouldn't have to do that much to update it for the new game. I mean, maybe, like, make the textures a bit better, but... And maybe change the map layout a bit. To still keep it fresh, and... Maybe work better for the new gameplay, I don't know. Gameplay stuff. But... They don't need to be holding them hostage, just because they were like, Oh, this one was already in Splatoon 2, guess we gotta not bring it back. I guess it's for freshness or something, but... Oh, God! 
Oh, okay. I didn't die. That's a good sign. No, don't bring back bring back everything but Moray Towers. Just don't bring back Moray. One more time. I'm confused. Oh. Wait, what? What am I? What's happening? Why am I going in circles? What? Is there more switches? Oh wait, I get it now. There's probably some on the behind of one of these things. Ah! Tricky, tricky. I knew something was fishy with that. I remember when you could only go through these zip wires by freaking only doing this with ZL. Now you can just grind on them. Gameplay stuff. Dun 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 Honestly, somebody could make a Giga, Giga Chad meme out of all these freaking victory screens. Because they're black and white and they just have the character in like... Like, cool looking poses, I guess, like... Just, let's make a meme with the Chad Octoling, and it's like... Da, 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 and just have the pictures move, and that's pretty much it. I mean, they're all... The pictures are all there for you already. So, like, it's not like it'd be hard. Well, so, three more levels, and then we got ourselves a stream. Oh, more zip casting levels. Let's go, Spider-Man! Pictured Spider-Man PS4 report on the Switch. It's real, see? It's right here. What do you mean the Switch can do Spider-Man? Oh, bruh. I want to see it. I mean, that seems like a perfect kind of Giga Chad meme. I don't know. The Chad Ancient 3 from Splatoon 3. Rest is the Virgin. Splatoon 2, Agent 3, I don't know. Something dumb. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I like the zippies. Oh, I thought I had to, like, react in time before it kept the game killed me off. Oh, wait, 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 yo, 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 yo. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. This looks like a Mario Tower. Also, it doesn't seem like a very long level at all. Um. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, didn't Callie mention being afraid of heights in the other games? Also, yeah, I forgot this guy was fake in the freaking Octo... The freaking... Oh wait, never mind. It's all torn out. Well, at least they have an in-game explanation as for why Alterna looks like this, this time. I mean, none of the freaking story mode stuff is, like, lived in. Like, all the levels just feel like levels. Not that that's a problem. They're fun and arcadey, like, type of fun. It's just... It doesn't feel as, like, world-buildy 
as much when you play the actual levels as it does when you're like in the hub map and like getting scrolls and stuff. So it's a bit disjointed in that regard. But still cool. Okay, two more levels and then we have ourselves a short finished stream. And several videos of content to upload to YouTube because I'm a little behind on uploading. But thankfully, I'm not like old um. I save all the freaking. Yeah, I remember in one of the freaking newscast. Oh yeah, I think it was Moray Towers. Callie is like, I hate heights. I think I, it sounds familiar for sure. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I'll use this weapon. It sounds new. Ballpoint splatling. Actually, what the heck is the explosion? It'll go if you shoot far. Sending flying in directions. Oh, it's like a blaster slosher combo. Interesting. Bruh! Whenever I hear this freaking song, I just go, bruh! And turn up the game volume because. I have to. Da 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 Wait, this is just freaking Sonic Adventure 1. I don't know why. The level layout design reminded me of Speed Highway. A little bit. Da 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 Bing bing ba ba bing Yeah, this kills all the enemies in one hit. That's cool. Do 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 Huh? Oh. Also kind of looks like Moray Towers a little bit. Hey, are you kidding me? I'm dying. How was I supposed to know that was there? What a ripoff. Bing, bing. Ba, ba, bing. So why am I killing my own race again? For what reason does the Octoling and Story Mode have to participate in any of this? Is it because they're fuzzy Octolings and those are icky compared to regular Octolings? Like, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess because they're like alien Octolings, so it's like, oh, it's okay, because they're a different kind of Octolings, so it's okay to destroy your own species, right? Question mark. I don't know, the species implications in this series are weird sometimes, I swear. Freaking Octoling race war over here. Bing bing, ba ba bing. I don't like this as much as the sloshing machine, but it's a pretty decent weapon. Oh, I was wondering what that sound was, but I was almost like, oh, it's my video editor. I finished merging the previous two parts that I needed to merge for YouTube because like I kind of backed myself into a corner when I was making uh, 
the first part of the last world I did. Because I was like, okay, I'll return later. I don't want to make that awkward, so... Like, I want that to be part of the next... Like, it should still be treated as the same stream, even though... Like... They were recorded, like, two weeks apart. Or something. Okay, one more level. Making good time here. I feel like they're relegating the exploring less and less, at least for the, like, side world areas. Like, I just did all the exploring in the first part. I didn't even have to do anything for this part at all, except for jumping into the levels. It was like an afterthought of this world. Bruh! The Among Us song again. Yo, what's this? Eh? Oh. Cool. It reminds me of the Super Bowl from Super Mario Land. Remo. I don't feel like doing anything fancy. Just shoot them. Oh, what the? Oh, it's a bunch of trials. No, oh, are you kidding me? teaser. Okay, now what? I don't see anything happening. Maybe I need to observe more. Oh. 
Okay, so that thing happens. Oh, that's what that sound effect was. Okay. I got this. Ah! Bruh, it's out for like two seconds. No way. Oh, okay. Boom. Oh, I gotta get up here. And, uh... Boom. Got on. That was a good puzzle. I like that. It was cool. This reminds me of a part in Splatoon 1, but I don't remember where it was in the game. It reminds me of something. Oh god! It has a splatling like weapon. Boom. Oh, I was supposed to use that thing. <laughs> I always do these things the hard way. Well, not the hard way, just the unconventional way. Okay, you know what? Okay, fine, I'll kill them the normal way. Ah, you don't like this puzzle-based combat. I just want to shoot things. One thing to give me puzzles when it's like, okay, whatever. But... Okay, actually it isn't that bad. I just like... I prefer to just shoot things, though. To go gung-ho. And go boom. Ah, what? That guy again? Okay, you know what? This time I know how to get him. Boom. Okay, we did it, boys. Dun 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 Well, looks like we're almost done. Oh, yeah. These fresh impulses bore a striking resemblance to Manny's passive desire to return to the Earth's surface. Oh, I forgot to read all of this. Spurred by these impulses, and whatever else may have been floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed pulmonary res respiration, mobility, and other traits consistent with land-drilling creatures. They began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remarkable pace across generations. Some species even gained extraordinary camouflage abilities. A point of no return arrived. The sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry land, and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface. Of course, survival on land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon, they found the tunnels that humans had used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh, fledgling beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights on the surface world. Pretty insane. I like the backstory. Okay. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And have yourselves a good one. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow the channel and uh, check out my YouTube channel, Ultra Mario 3K, same name. 
on this channel, I freaking um, I do, I have archive stream videos, like, um, Splatoon 3, Mario Kart Tour, Sonic Origins, and other Sonic games, and more stuff like that, so, you like all that, then feel free to check that out, too. Also, I just freaking went on the wrong map, but, yeah, have a good day, everybody, and take care.